from the conferences and webinars, I've learned so many things. I've realized that it's, projects can be done widely. I cannot only say this is the work for sisters and this is not work for sisters. I've realized that we are supposed to put all our gifts together, our talents together, and we work together. Our charism came up in a very simple way. It's written, we are, I am the bread of life, which I can explain in a simple way that we come together, we live, we understand, we believe, and then after believing, we go out to preach. So it is we bring this Christ that we ourselves we have experienced, we have known him to others. Poultry keeping has been of, of great help, I may say. We began just like something simple with the, some few five uh, chicken, the Kenyaji one, and then with the time we at least we improved, with the improved. And then the Sister Hedwin and Sister Bipris, when they learned, they came back. First of all, they were doing them with the Fomis. They came and they did it practically with them. Before we attended the Sisters Blended Value Project, we used to keep our poultry and our cows without records, without seeing how much we have put and how much we have taken. But after attending the seminar, after attending the course, now we have a book, we keep records. We see how much we have put, how much we have taken out. And in fact, we have improved a lot because at the moment, we no longer buy eggs from outside. We no longer buy, we don't buy milk. We even sell the surplus. And we used to have two rooms for the chicken up. But after attending the seminar, we had to construct an extra room to the down farm. We want to have a plan even to add a bigger room that we can even face them. We have different stages so that every time we are able to supply our customers, it has been of great uh, help to the formation house because from five chicks that we began with, they were just kinyeji and then slowly by slowly we added. Recently we had a, a celebration, Silver Jubilee and Perpetual Bar of our sisters and our formation house that is St. Joseph a Formation House Poultry Keeping, we managed to provide a 60 chicken, which we got the income of that 6,000 Kenyan shillings, and that one is a great help for our Formation House. Interacting with other sisters from other congregations has helped me and has enriched me so much. And the sisters, when they come to our side, we also teach them what we have that they have not yet learned. From our social enterprises, we have encountered some challenges like where we are doing our poultry. It is small, it is a bit small, so if we believe that if we had a big land, we could even make our farming more, more better. But for the, for the customers, we have people around, but then our product is not well enough. From the conferences and webinars, I've learned so many things. I've realized that it's, projects can be done widely. I cannot only say this is the work for sisters and this is not work for sisters. I've realized that we are supposed to put all our gifts together, our talents together, and we work together. I attended the webinar on marketing and communication and the skill I learned is about maintaining the, the quality of the products that we have and to learn how to communicate. People no longer buy sympathy, people buy quality and we need to maintain our quality as sisters. We need to maintain that trust that we have in market so that our products are excelling on market.
our project has created job for the community because previously we had only the labor from the formation for me but after expanding on our poultry and our dead farming we had to employ one person on the farm to help us in case we are not around to look after the farm. I take this chance to thank Strathmore University in partnership with the Quaker and above all the Conrad Hilton Foundation that has enabled us to be able to have a sustainable project that can help us to improve and perform well in our projects.